Hello, I'm Luke Hatford. I'm joined by Deputy Sports Editor here at the Express and Star, Mr. Derek Bish. We're here with your latest episode of Non League Weekly. Derek, the weather has taken its toll, but there have been some heroes in non league. I mean, they've been doing the work, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the snow, I mean, everyone probably would have noticed it, so mm. it's uh, going to state the obvious to say it's been a little bit snowy this week. Yeah. Um, but um, unsurprisingly, that caused pretty much the entire non league program in the area to fall mm. except for one place which was uh, which was at Chase Town which <laughs> fair was play. fair play to them um, loads of volunteers came out in force to get mm. the pitch cleared in the morning obviously desperate to get on and see a game of football it, uh, it was really was fantastic to see mm -hmm. um, you know it'd be great to mention them all but I know I don't know who everyone there was yeah. uh, <laughs> so we'll just we'll give a big shout out to to all of them, that was really fantastic to, mm -hmm. uh, to to come out in force. Five hours they spent clearing the pitch. Um, midfielder Will Wilden was there with mm. his uh, with his family as well. So uh, he was obviously desperate to uh, to get on the team sheet. But mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately for though for Chase, it didn't quite work out on the pitch as it as it sometimes happens in these situations. You, you spend all morning working hard, yeah. uh, and then Stanford came and spoiled the party. Probably wish that they didn't bother. Clearing, no, clearing up Possibly, but you know, no, it's all about getting out, seeing a game of football. So uh, that's what they wanted. That's what they got. Mm -hmm. uh, just unfortunately, couldn't carry on uh, Chase Town's uh, run of victories as well. It was good, yeah. good for us as well because that was mm -hmm. our place we said to spend ten pound last week. Oh and, yeah, uh, yeah that's it was the only place you could actually get to spend ten pound. So uh, fantastic that yeah, was non, uh, to see them. Non League Wheatley predicting the future there. Exactly. Uh, I mean, one thing the snow didn't stop uh, was some transfer dealings. Yeah, big. And that, Sorry, don't carry oh, no, on. Going for the Stafford <laughs> Rangers, obviously, you know, splashing the cash a little bit. Uh, yeah, big signing, big signing. I'm not sure about splashing the cash, but um, it's uh, it's great to see Carl Hawley uh, mm -hmm. back in uh, back in West Midlands non-league football. Um, obviously, he's had a huge past in the in the league, uh, scored some goals in the league. Um, you know, played for some uh, played for some decent league clubs as well. Mm -hmm. uh, he's also played for a few teams around here. He's played for uh, for Stourbridge, for Rushall, for Hensford, uh, and now he's going to be turning out for Stafford Rangers mm -hmm. uh, as well. Neil Kitchen's been saying in the last few weeks, I really, really wants to add a bit more firepower up front. Uh, and what Carl Hawley will bring, he'll bring a bit of nous, a bit of experience. Mm -hmm. uh, he's good at holding the ball up. So uh, fingers crossed that could be um, you know Stafford just need a little bit just to spark him into into a bit of a run and maybe Carl Hawley is the uh, is the man who can do that. Yeah, certainly knows the area well by the sounds of it. Now, Derek, I've got my ten pounds here. Ten pounds. I want to go to a non-league game. Where, where can I go this weekend? Hopefully somewhere where it isn't called off. Yeah, well, we'll do our best. We did okay last week. So uh, if you're not going to invest that in a pair of long johns, which is uh, always uh, wise for uh, for getting out and covering <laughs> non-league football, then. Yeah. Um, Check 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 the uh, check the weather forecast first. Mm -hmm. Check the club's Twitter. Everyone's fantastic on Twitter around here as well, letting you know where the games are on and off. Uh, but to our ten pound this week, we're just going to add just a little bit extra. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, a little two pound there for you nice, as well, nice. and we'll add another pound on top of that as oh, well. Brilliant, it, brilliant. It's twelve pound for adults to get into Kidderminster versus York. It's the first round of the FA Trophy. Uh, big game. Uh, we've seen some uh, excellent games with. Between those two, uh, mm -hmm. early, an excellent game between those two earlier in the season. Uh, promises to be another good one, uh, weather permitting at Agbra. Mm -hmm. uh, it's maybe twelve pound for adults, but it is kids for a quid oh, uh, right, okay. as well. So that's really great to see. So uh, thirteen pound gets you and an under sixteen in to uh, into Agbra, and hopefully to see Kidderminster to make it through to the second round of the FA Trophy. Great stuff, great stuff. Any other games going yeah, on? Yeah, on the subject of the trophy as well, we've got Stourbridge involved. They're away to uh, away to Leamington. Uh, and we've got a few league games uh, as well. How's Owen? They're away to Ashton. Mm -hmm. Stafford, hopefully with Carl Hawley making his debut. They'll be away to Colville. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Rushall uh, and Hensford both at home as well. So if Kidderminster uh, doesn't take your fancy, it was a bit far away, mm -hmm. then make sure you head over to, uh, to Rushall or Hensford. Uh, Midland League programme, West Midlands Leagues, they obviously got all their fixtures uh, planned for the weekend as well. We will see what the uh, what the weather brings. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully won't thaw out too quickly, give the chance for a snow to clear, but without waterlogging the uh, the pitches. But, you know, fingers crossed we can get back out and see, uh, see plenty of non-league football this weekend. That's it. Fingers crossed for all the league fixtures this weekend. Uh, if you've got any stories, any goals, anything that you want to share with us uh, for next week's episode of Non-League Week, make sure you tweet uh, Derek Bish star, that's Derek Bish underscore star on Twitter, or myself, and we'll endeavour to get them in the next episode. So from me and Derek Bish, goodbye for this week.
Thank you for watching Non-League Weekly. I want to hear about all your non-league news. Uh, I want to see all your goals uh, from the weekend. So please do tweet me at Derek Bish underscore star or find us through the uh, Express and Star website as well. Uh, and follow this Non-League Weekly video every Friday as well as our coverage all week in the Express and Star. We've got special non-league previews on Friday. Uh, match reports in Final Whistle on Monday. See if your players make the team of the week as well. Uh, and Tuesday, the special Midland and West Midlands League roundup. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.